been nice to have a quiet day before wacky weather moves in. And I say wacky weather because we got a whole lot of everything over the next couple of days. Quiet for the rest of our evening. Feeling a little bit brisk out there. Feeling a little bit chilly out there. Clouds are starting to move in. Filtered high clouds moving in. Tonight, we see a few spotty showers and temperatures actually, they're going to drop to the upper 30s over the next few hours and then come back up to the low 40s. This is as the moisture moves in from the south ahead of round one which is Thursday, and that's the soaking rain we see on Thursday. All this moisture coming in from the south. We'll get some pockets of heavy rain thrown in there. We're going to keep the thunderstorms in the forecast as well. There could be some on the stronger side as well, so it will be a day we'll have to stay weather aware. And the breeze out of the south and east occasionally gusting to 30 miles an hour will put our temps near 60 degrees. So kind of awkwardly warm in the middle of this winter system. But winter won't be far off. The cold front then moves in by Friday and it comes blasting in with it. Some strong wind and of course the cold air and a few showers come at us from the front and there still is a chance that we have a few snowflakes to mix in just depending on when the cold air matches up with the moisture. But chances of significant snowfall, they have just been going down and down and down. What has been more significant is the drop in the temperatures in the forecast we will be near 50 degrees through the late morning hours of Friday. And then we're dropping those temperatures like rocks. It'll be in the 20s by 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. In combination with this, winds gusting to 35, 40 miles an hour. Very windy day, and that's cold Arctic air blowing in. Look at our wind chills for Friday night. By 4, 5 o'clock in, in, in 48 hours by Friday evening, it may feel like 10 degrees outside. It's going to be real cold. We should be near zero degrees waking up, or at least that's what it'll feel like waking up on Saturday morning. Wind chill still a factor as there's a little breeze on Saturday afternoon will slowly start to relatively warm up or thaw out, so to speak, on Sunday for Christmas. Highs will be in the 30s, coldest Christmas since 2013, and wind chill is going to be a factor. It's going to be real cold, but things start to settle down as we go into Christmas Day and then into the uh, extended forecast of next week. Future track has the spotty showers moving in uh, later tonight. Thursday morning's commute should be okay, but by late morning and midday hour, we're talking about a whole lot of rain moving in and we get soaked. So just think on and off rain for the bulk of our Thursday. A few pockets of heavy rain thrown in here, a bit of the breeze out of the south and east with some thunderstorms thrown in the forecast, mainly for those in northeast and North Carolina. So just pay attention to the weather on our Thursday. We see that kind of quickly move out. And then round two is not far off. Here's round two with the cold front by Friday morning, just off towards our west. This thing comes crashing in within two to three hours. It's from Farmville right over here in Hampton Roads. And there's still, again, could be a chance of a few snowflakes blowing in, but that's not the main headline with this. It's the cold air coming in and it's the wind on our Friday. Director Reba, let's pull this seven day forecast full so we can get a look at the overnight lows Friday night into Saturday morning. Talking about teens. And wind chill is going to be a big, big factor. Wind chill is essentially just how the air feels to our body. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use Santa Claus as an example here. Okay. He's going to pop in from the top of your, top of your screen here. Just oh, a little there bit. he is. Careful so Santa there. Claus, of course, is all bundled up, but his exposed <laughs> skin, which is nose and his cheeks, and he, I mean, we're warm to the touch. Mm -hmm. So our bodies are constantly emitting a little layer of heat and moisture. When you add wind into the forecast, when you add wind into there, that little layer of warmth gets whisked away, and then the air feels colder than the temperatures actually do read. Santa Claus will be a bit on the cold side. So depending on how dry the air is, depending how cold it is, and depending how strong the wind is, will create that wind chill factor. And we're going to have it maybe feeling like zero degrees. Saturday I thought I just morning. saw a bolt of lightning. What was that? A little bit of everything in the forecast <laughs> for us over the next couple of days.